All right. So All right. today we're going to be watching the first Medal of Honor ever recorded. How, how old is this? Uh, this released 10 months ago. Has 10 wait, million wait, wait, views. Wait, wait. The first Medal of Honor? And it's only been out for 10 months? This video did. I don't know when the actual Medal of Honor took place, but at least but this Medal video. Medal of Honor has been around for a long time, you read? I remember hearing that, right? Or not? No, this is actually the Medal of Honor, not the game. This is the first ever Medal of Honor ever recorded. Like the actual, someone getting the Medal of Honor. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, not the game. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were playing video games here. No, not today. Oh, uh, I'm interested. All uh, right, let's see. First Medal of Controller Honor. Controller and the SEALs are attempting to rescue their lost teammate. It's Air Force, right? I think that's You'll watch Chapman's heroic actions as he saves the lives of his entire SEAL team and then another 18 members of a quick reaction force, earning America's highest award, the Medal of Honor. Oh, look at this. Chapman and the SEALs exfil their MH-47 helicopter. John is the second individual to exit and immediately moves in the direction of the summit. It's real cold. He can be seen moving off to the right of the screen alone. Why? The team is taking heavy fire from every direction as indicated he ran by the back. arrows no. as Chapman begins engaging targets. Looks like he's first. You can Where see spent cartridges ejected from all around him, Chapman then begins closing with the enemy, forcing his way up slope in knee and thigh deep snow. Oh, really? He is constantly under fire as he does this. Chapman's team leader Those begins to close people. on Chapman, following his trail through the yeah, snow. Yeah, look at him. See him? One there? The dark mass above Chapman is a fortified bunker containing two enemy fighters, each armed with AK 47s, who are firing down on the team in yeah, darkness. I see him. So this bunker will come to be known as bunker number one. <clears throat> to the left of the tree and bunker one is another gray mass. This is a rock outcropping that came to be called the boulder. Between bunker one and this boulder can be seen the body of slain seal Neil Roberts. Dang. The man Chapman and the others are attempting to recover. He didn't make it. He's already dead? He said slain. So oh. Chapman, still alone and closest to the enemy, pauses to engage targets as his team leader follows him. Right? It could be trees. But never actually catches know. up with They're them. in the trees. Look at this evil. Chapman, on his own, now makes the decision to charge directly into the enemy bunker despite withering point-blank fire. That'd be me. Chapman, now literally on to top him, of right? the enemy, engages yeah. the two combatants and kills them, saving the lives of the remaining SEALs. Wow. He does this from a distance of no more than 10 feet. That's crazy. These actions by themselves earned him his first medal God of honor. God is with him. He then climbs into and takes control of the bunker. Having cleared the immediate threat, Chapman is then joined by his team leader in bunker one. You can then see Chapman and his team leader engaging the next bunker, known as bunker two, which is situated to the left edge of the screen. This bunker, manned by a handful of Chechen and Uzbek fighters, also contains a heavy PKM machine gun, uh -oh. hand grenades, and rocket-propelled grenades. We're Americans, we're not worried. John Chapman is shot twice at this time in the torso and collapses, incapacitated. You are now looking at a new angle, and at the left of the screen can be yeah. seen two-man fire team and team leader on top of the boulder. Just below it is Bunker 1 with the mortally wounded Chapman. One SEAL can be seen firing his modified M60 machine gun from the hip into Bunker 2 on the yeah. right side of the screen until he is struck by grenade shrapnel and tumbles 10 feet off the top of the boulder, oh. collapsing at the feet of his team leader, Jeez. thus setting off a chain of events that would lead to the SEALs abandoning Chapman on the summit. Abandoning him? Abandoned? The wounded SEAL and the team leader can be seen conferring about his injuries. Moments later, the SEALs decide to retreat from the summit because their position is untenable in the face of continued massive enemy firepower. They can be seen moving toward the right side of the screen and passing the body of Neil Roberts. Unfortunately, the SEALs do not pass John Chapman, who is above them and inside. Pull him them out, look. They said they didn't, they missed the other guy too. Yeah, well he was already dead, that's why. No, the other, no, I don't think this so. This angle shows oh, three seals in a triangle. The larger black heat signature is a smoke grenade. Oh. Just to its left is a donkey and dead Al-Qaeda fighter killed by Chapman. Not the donkey, I guess. The steepness of the mountain can be seen as the seals begin to slide down the near sheer face.
team leader, desperate for relief, and now with two wounded teammates, asks for uncontrolled airstrikes from an orbiting Air Force AC-130 gunship. Ooh, AC-130. The impacts yeah. you see are from 105mm howitzer rounds being fired oh. onto the ridge top Good bless in order to save the remaining SEALs. Because neither the SEALs nor gunship know Chapman is alive, he is experiencing these detonations from his position. Oh, no. Oh, he's got it. He's got At it. approximately 5.20 in the morning, Chapman recovers and begins to engage the enemy. Bunker 1 is on the right side center of the screen and Bunker 2 to the left near the screen center. It will never be known what caused his incapacitation and recovery. Of the two rounds that originally wounded him, at least one was mortal and at this time he is experiencing severe blood loss and shock. Despite that, he begins his one-man stand against two dozen enemy combatants. Two dozen. two dozen. During this time, Chapman initiates a series of radio calls, many of which are heard by a fellow combat controller and teammate of his and Delta Force Girl, operators yeah, on controller. a nearby summit. Despite this combat controller's replies, Chapman never acknowledges whether because of damage to his equipment or himself will never be known. This new angle and footage shows Chapman at the top, identified by the green dot under the tree at Bunker 1. The lower center of the screen shows the first enemy fighter who is about to charge Chapman oh. in the hopes of killing the American. Jeez. The timestamp at the bottom shows it is now 6.05 in the morning and Get fully him. light. He's been fighting alone now for 40 plus minutes and has received more gunshot and shrapnel wounds as a result of the fierce combat. This scene shows the second of several enemy charges. In this stunning display of determination and courage, Chapman can be seen fighting hand-to-hand -hand with the fighter. Jeez. In the larger screen display can be seen additional enemy moving on to the summit. But right now, John Chapman is fighting for his life. Six minutes later, in this new shot, Chapman can hear another helicopter approaching the summit. He is in the bottom center of the screen underneath the tree and can be seen in the magnified inset box as he begins his desperate final stand to save the lives of the 18 men on the helicopter. The red dots are enemy fighters. John begins engaging the enemy in multiple directions and is rapidly approaching the last of his ammunition. The helicopter contains a quick reaction force comprised of rangers, pararescue men, and another combat controller. It is now 6.13 and the helicopter is short final. The enemy is desperately trying to displace Chapman so they can put heavy weapons or rocket-propelled grenades in Bunker 1 while simultaneously engaging the helicopter. With the choice to save his life or the lives of his unknown comrades, Chapman makes the decision to climb out of the bunker and begin firing in multiple directions as can be seen in the inset. Suffering from as many as a dozen wounds, Chapman is in fact already in the process of dying. As he fights, the helicopter is struck by a rocket-propelled grenade and makes a remarkable controlled crash just below Chapman what? and the summit. Oh. Chapman, now off-screen, continues to cover his comrades as they pour out of the stricken helicopter. Some of them are fatally shot as they exit. These images, with Chapman fighting the enemy at close quarter, are the last to show him alive and in this heroic act, thus qualifying for his second Medal of Honor. Two? We got two Medal of Honor? Ultimately, Chapman would expend all but the last few rounds of his ammunition until, finally, after 16 bullet and shrapnel wounds, Chapman succumbs when he is shot through the heart. Oh. We will never know his final thoughts or words, but what we do know is his decisions and actions single-handedly saved the lives of 23 comrades. For more information about John Chapman's amazing story and the details about this mission, Visit danchillingbooks.com or your favorite book retailer to obtain a copy of The Chronicle of His Life, Alone at Dawn. That's brave. That guy was brave. Jeez. It's rare they ever record, you know, someone taking that historical <clears throat> act like that. He didn't just get killed. He, he was shot. <clears throat> Plenty of times he never gave up. He kept shooting. That's it. That's all I could say. The reason I, I believe my dad got very emotional during this was because it really reminded him. My uncle, his brother, uh, passed away shortly after I was born uh, in a C-130 type of uh, crash uh, in, I believe, Puerto Rico. Um, very terrible. Very all of a sudden. Uh, he was 
he was in the Air Force. Um, I'll leave a link where you guys can check out his page. If you guys want to uh, give my dad's respect, uh, you guys can check that out and see what happened and, and look it over. Uh, I know my dad would really appreciate it. But uh, other than that, guys, happy Memorial Day. And uh, I really appreciate you guys all watching. All right. Peace out, guys.